Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you the basics of how to catch the whales catfish. The whales catfish is an incredibly hard fighting fish so you need to be beefed up for them. I'm going to go through some rigs, some bait and some general equipment just to give you an idea of how you're going to get out there and catch your first catfish. Firstly you're going to need a strong rod. Personally, I use a 4.5 pound test cav, but anything from 3.5 upwards should be okay. Next, onto your reel. I personally use 30 pound mono, but anything above 80 pound braid should be okay as well. The Wells catfish have hundreds of teeth, almost like Velcro, and are very abrasive. This is why you need to make sure that your rigs are beefed up. Here's my personal favourite rig. Firstly what you're going to need is a weight stop, a weight with a run ring, some bait shields and a polyball rig. I tend to buy the polyball rigs pre-made but they are very easy to make. Firstly you're going to put the weight onto your main line followed by the stopper bead. Next thread your main line onto the swivel of the polyball rig and using a simple blood knot wrap it around 6-8 to eight times. Wet the knot before pulling tight to ensure maximum efficiency. Polyballs are used mainly for live bait, including worms, small fish and leeches. In order to keep your bait on, you will need a bait shield. Once you've hooked your bait, it ensures it stays on. And there you have it, that's a finished polyball rig. To give you an idea of how the polyball rig works, here's a crudely drawn sketch I have for you. As you can see, the polyball is up in the water with the bait dangling just below it. It then runs down to the running lead weight which holds the bottom and allows you to adjust the depth of your bait. People often mistake catfish as bottom feeders, however this isn't the case as they feed at all different depths. This is why the polyball rig is a great method as you can just adjust the depth very easily. Another rig I like to use is a dumbbell rig. However, this is for more advanced cat fishermen. The dumbbell rig is used to fish just below the surface. Catfish often come up to hit fry, which is why the dumbbell rig is a very effective way of fishing for catfish. They have an underslung jaw, a bit like pike, which helps them attack from the bottom. Another great method is your bog standard hair rig. Again, I buy these pre-made, but they're very easy to make. Large pellets such as the one shown on screen now can be very effective. Big stinky boilies like these ones can also be great, especially if they're used alongside a spot mix. As a personal preference, I prefer to use live baits as that's what I've had most of my success on. Worms, leeches and small roach are brilliant baits for catfish and will lead you success catching your first fish. Just to give you an idea of the equipment that I use for catfishing, I've laid out my unhooking mat for you. You can see by the size of this just how big the fish are that you're going to be dealing with. Also shown on screen is the net that I use. This is a 60 inch net made by Catfish Pro. It's a brilliant net and it's very sturdy and it's so big that even I can fit in it. Something also to consider is a set of waders. Catfish are very slippery and slimy and they can leave you covered in snotty stuff. Next up, a little bit of general knowledge to help you catch your very own catfish. Let's start with location. Like many predatory fish, catfish like cover, so be sure to find any features on the lake where you think the catfish might be able to hide. Something like an overhanging tree, some lily pads and rushes, and maybe any deep holes that you can find in the lake bed. Having said this, I've had success using live bait in open water, because catfish have a great predatory instinct and use their whiskers to sense vibrations. Catfish generally have poor eyesight and are nocturnal for the most part, which is why they rely on their sense of smell and their whiskers to hunt their prey. This being said, it is still possible to catch them during the day. The best time of year to fish for catfish is between spring and the end of autumn, as this is when the catfish's metabolism begins to speed up and they need to feed more often. At the beginning of the season and towards the end of the season, I tend to find soft baits work better as the catfish's metabolism is still on the low side and it's easy for them to digest a softer bait such as worms or a live bait rather than that of a pellet. 
This is why I opt for live bait at the beginning of spring and towards the end of the warmer months. My personal favourite method is live baiting. The best way to handle a catfish is to have one hand under the front pectoral fin and the other hand nearer the back and supporting the weight. Holding it under the pectoral fin not only allows you to hold it properly but also takes the pressure of holding it from the belly or the head. I also find that sticking my elbow out helps me to hold the catfish as seen in this picture. If you're fishing with somebody else and you catch a large catfish, get them to jump in and help you hold it. Well guys, we've reached the end of our video. I really hope you enjoyed it, but most of all, I hope it helps you get out there and catch your very own catfish. Leave me a comment if you have any other questions and I'll be sure to get back to you. But other than that, have a great day.